This is a simple example that I've used when I've introduced fusion tables a, a few times. And I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is to create one of these uh, really neat interactive maps within Google Docs. Uh, I'm going to start with some simple data, like I said. Uh, I have a list of United States state capitals. Uh, and you can get this list uh, anywhere you like. Now notice that it's simply the city comma state. That's all it is. So uh, fusion tables can create a map that's as simple as a city or as specific as a latitude and longitude or a street address. So whatever kind of uh, location data that you have, that's the kind of data that it will use. So I'm going to start with this uh, spreadsheet. Uh, I don't have to open the spreadsheet uh, and go back to my uh, Google uh, Apps account. And I'm going to create, if I go under more, I'll see that there's an option that says Fusion uh, Table Experimental. Now if you don't have that option, uh, say you're at a school using Google Apps for Education, check with your uh, Apps Administrator and have them check the box that turns that on. Uh, it's an option that's there. Anyone can use it. So I'm going to create a fusion table. Now a fusion table is a little bit different than other kinds of uh, docs that you create within Google Docs because uh, it wants to start with some other data from the beginning. So instead of making a, a blank document or a blank spreadsheet, it says, hey, why don't you give me some data? So uh, I could, if I had an Excel spreadsheet, I could upload that. Or if I had a Google spreadsheet, uh, I can use that. So I'm going to tell it to use a Google spreadsheet. Uh, and here is my uh, United States capitals. Select that. Uh, it now is uh, trying to figure out the, the geo data that's in there. It says it looks like there's just one row of data. There is. Uh, and then I can decide uh, how I'm going to name this. Uh, by default, it allows for people to export. That's a really handy thing because the whole idea here, I think, with Google Apps is they want you to share your data. Uh, if you don't want to let people export it, uncheck that box. I finish, and then it creates my fusion table, and it, uh, it kind of looks like a spreadsheet. Uh, you can see I've got one column in, in this little tab here called rows, and notice that it's yellow. Yellow means that Fusion Table thinks that uh, that data is uh, geolocation data, that it's some sort of uh, address. It's yellow because uh, Fusion Tables has not uh, geocoded it yet. It has not out where that particular place is on a map. So if I click on uh, Map the United States, the first time I do that, it's going to go through this geocode process and uh, Depending on how much data you have, this can take anywhere from uh, a few seconds to a few minutes to a few... I've never had one take hours, but uh, I did I did addresses... Well, uh, I, mean, I had all the school building address data for the state of Ohio, which is about 3,600 addresses, and that one did take close to an hour. I didn't sit and watch it like this. I, I let it uh, uh, go while I did something else. But once it does this one time, uh, it doesn't have to come back and do it again unless you add more data to your list. So uh, when I'm finished, it uh, this is unusual. Notice uh, that is not all of the data. Uh, it usually takes a little bit for it to show up on the map. Let me show you how, let's say you had a column that had a county information and a column that had an address information. And Fusion Tables doesn't know which is which. Uh, in your map, you can select which one of the columns is used is used for the data. Uh, you can see I've only got one column, so it's using that one. If there were multiple columns, I could select between the different columns to use. Now, to make all these show up, if I hit uh, the refresh on my browser, uh, there they are. So here's all of the state capitals just based on uh, the city location. So you can see that this says uh, US capital Columbus, Ohio. Uh, and if I zoomed in on this, it's in the right location and it it puts the dot right in the middle of uh, the city. Now let's say that you had uh, some very specific street data. 
This is a, a set of data that I found uh, on an Ohio State Department uh, server. It was a spreadsheet and it lists every county village uh, or city if it's big enough to be a city but uh, every office in the state. Now you can see this first one up here is a P.O. box but most of these are street addresses. Um, now this isn't saying that uh, in Adams County there's a, a village called Winchester and it's just going to put a dot there. It's going to put it at 24 West Washington Street. It's going to get it as close to that as possible. Uh, so if I look at my map, here is my map, and now if I zoom in on this, uh, here let's just pick this one. This is the Putnam County city of, or village of Columbus Grove, and you can see it says 113 East Sycamore Street. So if I were to zoom in on this map, close enough uh, that I could see, let's go to the satellite view, uh, the street names here you can see East Sycamore Street. I'm guessing that little building is uh, 113. Uh, you know if you're from that town you can verify exactly where it is. But fusion tables are created using the geocode information you have as specific as you have it. So it could be as general as a city as specific as a street address. That's basically how you create fusion tables.